I sat next to a guy recently on the plane. He's the alligator wrestler. His big finale is putting his head in the alligator's mouth. Well, let, let me back up. His big finale was <laughs> putting his head in the alligator's mouth into a fatal accident. And I asked him, what, what does he think the mistake was that he made? He said, well, he forgot to wipe the sweat off his brow because the alligator's mouth is so sensitive to any foreign substance that hits the tongue and makes the alligator gag and, and, and shuts his mouth uh, quickly. And that's what he felt the mistake was he made. Um, so I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it slowly. He felt the mistake he made <laughs> before putting his head <laughs> in the alligator's mouth was that he forgot to wipe the sweat <laughs> off his brow because the alligator's mouth is so sensitive <laughs> to any foreign substance like uh, sweat or uh, stupidity. <laughs> or human head. <laughs> but that just showed me that uh, uh, there's crazy people all over the country. You know, I thought it was just limited to my family, but there's, <laughs> cra that, right? but there's crazy people everywhere. In fact, if you can't think of the crazy person in your house, it's probably you. <laughs> Because I have three generations of crazy in my family. To show you how dysfunctional my family is, uh, I was on the comedy contest uh, on television once, and I lost. Um, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for your support. And, and uh, every now and then, rerun the episode. And when they do, the family will still watch it, still thinking I have a chance to win. <laughs> My grandmother would call me, I thought you had him this time, baby. <laughs> I think you keep losing because you keep telling the same jokes. <laughs> I love my grandmother. My grandmother is 93. <laughs> yep. She always thinks someone's trying to break in the house. Every five minutes, I see a shadow. Put the gun down. <laughs> but I see a shadow, baby. I know you do, you get cataracts. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot, cataracts are no cataracts. When cataracts are no cataracts, you still gotta protect yourself. Like my late husband always said. Um, <laughs> well, whatever it was, he always said it. <laughs> I miss him. We did everything together. We was married for, uh, let me see, Lincoln Free to Slaves in 1862. Uh, Trevor Checker came out the twist in 60. We was married for two years. <laughs> That's the only way my grandmother can remember anything. She always has to start with the emancipation of the slaves. It could be simple things like going to the grocery store. Grandma, you need anything at the grocery store? Do I need anything at the grocery store? Hold on, hold on, let me see. Let me see, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, um, Lincoln Free the Slave. <laughs> 62. Chubba Checker came out with, I went to the grocery store on Wednesday, no, I'm good. 